Hi, I'm Jack Graven. In this short video, I'd like to show you how to last longer in bed tonight in five easy steps. Right, let's get straight to it. Step number one, realize you are in control. I know it can be hard to deal with premature ejaculation, especially if you've been living with it for a long time, but you can't afford to fall into the trap of thinking that there's nothing you can do about it. The fact is that premature ejaculation is not caused by your genes, your penis size, or what your woman does during sex. Premature ejaculation is caused specifically by the things you do before and during sex. And if you can't last long in bed, then you're just doing the wrong things. And all you need to do is figure out what the right things to do are, and start doing those things, and lasting longer in bed should be no problem for you and in the following steps you're going to find out exactly what those things to do are. Right, step number two, become pleasure sensitive. When you're having sex, you've got to start being aware and paying attention to just how close to orgasm you are. And the reason I say this is because if you don't pay attention to how close to orgasm you are, then suddenly the whole feeling of orgasm will come onto you and there won't be anything you can do and it'll be too late. Whereas if you know in advance when an orgasm is coming, you can take corrective action. So instead of just doing, carrying on thrusting the way you are, doing what you're doing, you can change what you're doing to last longer in bed. And here are some examples of what you can do. You can change positions because in changing positions, you get a little break, a chance to recover. You can just slow things down. As simple as it sounds, it works because it gets you a chance to just reduce that stimulation so you can last longer. Or you can pull out and... Just give us some oral sex or give us some other kind of stimulation and of course by pulling out you can get have a chance to recover and you can last longer and if you weren't aware and if you weren't paying attention in the first place you wouldn't have been able to do this step number three use deep breathing right when you're having sex you're probably going to start breathing quickly in shallow breaths and that's because it's instinctive all men do this naturally when it comes to sex but the problem with shallow breathing is that it increases tension in your body and tension is one of the things that causes orgasm an orgasm is the nature of the orgasm is a release of tension so if you've got a lot of tension in your body it's a lot easier for your body to orgasm so you want to try and eliminate as much tension as possible and the way to do this is through breathing and if you instead of doing the instinctive shallow breathing if you take a moment to become conscious of your breathing and take some slow and deep breaths then you'll find that the tension in your body just melts away and as the tension goes away it's a lot harder to orgasm and lasting longer will come naturally. Step number four, go for a deep thrust. Right, This is based on the fact that the end of your penis is the most sensitive part of your penis. If you want to last longer in bed you've got to try and reduce the stimulation to the end of your penis at least at some point during sex and one easy way to do this is to thrust deep and stay deep and in doing so you keep the end of your penis away from the entrance of her vagina which is the most stimulating part of her vagina and once you're in deep just rub your pelvis against her clitoris and what this does is it gives her a lot of pleasure and by giving her pleasure she won't notice that you're, you're doing this to try and get a bit of recovery to try and reduce your stimulation she'll be having just as much fun as you were at any other point during sex but you'll have a chance to recover and then soon you'll be back to having sex as normal Step number five, distraction. Right, this really is a last resort. And the reason I say it's a last resort is because during sex you really don't want to be doing things that are going to take away from the pleasure you experience. Ideally, sex should be a fun thing and you should be there, you should be present and you should be enjoying it. But sometimes, uh, if there's absolutely nothing else you can do to last longer in bed, maybe it's worth a bit of a distraction because you might take that short-term cut in pre pleasure, but you'll get the long-term benefit of a longer enjoyable sex session and distraction uh, is, is a pretty basic concept just all it involves is taking attention away and energy away from your penis and a cool little trick that you can do to do this is stroke the roof of your mouth with your tongue so you're basically licking the roof of your mouth now I know it sounds kind of weird but what this does is in stroking the roof of your mouth firstly it's kind of weird so it's distracting in itself just because it's weird but it also involves transferring energy away from your penis and up your body. Uh, it's a kind of tantric concept but it works and so I recommend you give it a try. Finally, um, if you'd like to find out how I personally went from lasting less than 10 seconds in bed to over 35 minutes then uh, you'll want to check out the website I've got, uh, the video I've got on my website. 
Uh, it's kind of a weird story and it's ha about how I completely beat premature ejaculation and you'll also get to learn what the four mistakes are to absolutely avoid to last longer in bed. Uh, I think you'll get a lot out of this video. You can check it out for free at ejaculationguru.com. So, hope to see you there. Thanks, bye.